We are now very happy to be joined by the 16th general manager in Maple Leafs history. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Lou Lamarillo joining us. Uh, Lou, welcome to Tim and Sid. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Lou, first question, why Toronto and why now? Well, you know, timing is uh, something that you know, comes about uh, at different times, uh, you know, to have certain experiences. And as far as Toronto goes, uh, Brendan Shanahan, Mike Babcock, and Larry Tannenbaum, that's the reason why. How the heck did you keep this quiet for so long? Normally these things kind of leak out. This is a fantastic <laughs> job. It's true. Well, that's maybe what we've transmitted from New Jersey to Toronto for, for a short period of time. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of cooks in Toronto, from, from a board to a president to assistant GMs already in place. After accomplishing so much in your career, why did you make the move now and did you worry about how many cook, cooks there were in the kitchen? No, absolutely not. Uh, you know, I have a, a belief in that if you work together with a group, there has to be one voice at different times and different situations, and I feel very confident in that. As I mentioned, uh, in my conversations with Brendan, uh, Mike, and, you know, Mark, and Kyle, and Brandon, uh, I, I'm totally comfortable with exactly that group uh, has to offer and how we can transmit it into a pyramid. Look, Mike Babcock obviously is going to be with this organization for that long haul, and, and he said there's going to be some pain here. And, and uh, Brendan Shanahan's a governor, so Brendan Shanahan seems like he's dug his heels in. He's in for the long haul. Out of curiosity, considering your resume, what you've already done, how long do you plan on being a part of this project? Well, my, my plan is as long as I, uh, I feel that I am a benefit to the direction and also the uh, sort of success that Toronto wants to have. I'm in it for as long as it takes and as necessary uh, it is as far as time. Uh, I'm excited. I, I feel rejuvenated right now. I, and I feel very comfortable uh, in my own skin uh, to know what the things that have to be done. Brendan Shanahan spoke at length about your influence on his career on the ice and after. How much of this job for you is about mentoring? Well, I don't know. I think mentoring hopefully will be the result of, of what uh, my involvement is. But my job is not to just mentor. My job is to serve what the responsibilities are of a general manager. Lou, this might be a difficult question because obviously you're not inside the organization, but uh... I don't know if you heard, the Leafs haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1967. A <laughs> uh, bit of a talking point uh, in the city of Toronto. Why do you think that's the case? Uh, I really could not answer that right now. I haven't been here long enough. Uh, but the New Jersey Devils had never won a Stanley Cup when I went there. Lou, you talked a lot about... Um about the culture of the team and you talked a little bit about the the front of the jersey as opposed to the back of the jersey how difficult is that to actually change in an organization well we're going to have to find out here i really don't know a lot of the players uh, but i do know one thing that uh, mike and brendan and the rest of the group uh, in my conversations are committed to separate that and, allow, and only keep the players are willing to do that. And that's going to determine how long it takes because if there aren't enough players that are on board, then it's going to take a lot of changes. Having watched your career, that's something that you've tried really hard to, to make sure that you had in New Jersey. Do you anticipate it being the same thing in Toronto to make sure that that culture is there and those players have the buy-in? We will do our best, and I think that those are the only players that will survive. Lou, the head coach of this team was signed to a $50 million contract. With that, I would assume he gets some say in what happens here. He will be a strong voice. You obviously will be a strong voice. There's Brendan. There's a lot of voices here. And, and with, with Mike specifically, I'm curious, when did he find out about this? How long was he involved in the process in you uh, going to the Leafs? And what's your relationship like with him? Well, first of all, Mike uh, knew uh, that there was a potential, but did not know like everyone else uh, until, you know, the last 24 hours. Um, but my relationship with him is outstanding. Um, and certainly everyone knows my relationship with Brendan. Uh, we have a, a lot of the same chemistry, a lot of the same makeup, the three of us. And as far as the voice, every coach that I've had in New Jersey have always had a voice in what was done. And Mike's voice is probably the most important. 
Uh, Lou, we really appreciate the time on this busy day for you, uh, and thank you very much for, for doing this with us.